Bueno, mi gente, welcome, welcome, welcome back. I know it's been a long time, you guys, but this video is like way long overdue. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to like the like button. But I have a lot to talk to you guys, and you know, everybody knows that we're going into 2020. Um, but um, 2019, y'all, has been the year of revelations for me revelations you know people will consider you know the end of the bible and to me it was the end of a lot of things i have lost a lot and when i say a lot i lost it all from my apartment to my car being repoed to my relationship my seven-year relationship um i have lost a lot but even though i lost a lot you guys i am here in the flesh to tell you that you can go on with your life and sometimes things have to be taken away from you so that you can gain i was stubborn i was trying to be in control of everything i was um yeah not putting god first and i'm here to tell you that i am changed now basically i would say that i'm naked i was stripped of everything i appreciate um a lot of a lot of things that i didn't appreciate before and i know i look rough but this is what you're going to get raw, uncut, uncensored. This is me. <clears throat> People may look at me like, girl, you look hit. Okay. And that's because I was at the bottom of the bottom. But the glow up is real. And when I'm going to show y'all. So before I even start 2020, I want to end 2019 with um, recognizing um you know, that I'm not in control. I have to put God first. Even though I done lost it all, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes, I was down and out, stressed, couldn't get out of bed. Um, my mom had to come, you know, with food to feed the kids. I was just like in a really, really dark, bad place because I lost it all. But at the end of it all, I am so resilient. Like, I have so much, so much strength. Like, this is me. This is who I am. And I, I always go through a lot. And, you know, like, I don't know if you could relate, but for me, when things go bad for me, I'm used to that struggle. You know, like, my life has been a struggle from the time I was born. So when I go through struggles in life, I'm kind of used to that. It's when things go good for me that I am I'm uncomfortable because I'm looking at the, at the watch. Like, you know, how long is this going to last? Because nothing good for me lasts forever. But no, no more. I'm not doing that no more. I am going to speak life into my situation. And I, I want to send love, peace, and serenity to everybody that feels like, you know, um, if you if you lost it all, if you feel like you're at the bottom of the bottom, you can. You can and you will be okay. Trust the process. If you go in the ocean and you feel like you can't swim and the waves is taking over and you don't understand it, that's sometimes that's how we feel when all our problems accumulate on top of us and we feel real overwhelmed. But at the end of the day, don't sit there and drown in it. Ride the wave. Trust the process. That's what you need to become a better person. And I really, I dedicate this to my sister Karma because me and her, we, we haven't like, we don't speak a lot on a daily basis due to, you know, I was adopted. She was raised with a different family. We can't, we got in contact like a couple years ago, but we don't really have contact because she lives, you know, in Long Island and I live and over here in Amsterdam. So um, now she spoke to me and she spoke life into me, even though she's in the midst of her being down. So for her to take the time to speak life into me, it reflects back on her and who she is. And people like that is who I need around me. And sometimes I feel like I'm alone. I don't have anybody. Um, I isolated myself away from a lot of people just so I can regain who I am as a person. But karma definitely put the battery in my back. She made me realize who I am. And at the end of the day, like, I know who I am. But because I was down and out and I was, like, I just had, like, this, not even, like, a gray cloud. I just had this black cloud over me thinking, how am I going to make it out of this? Like, I've, I've been strong for so long, but I am tired. I'm tired of being strong. But... I use um, this little phrase, like, you know, you drive in a car and you're on E, you still have that little, little bit of gas, that extra gas to keep you going until you get to the gas station. Like, that's what I'm using until I get to my gas station. But I have reached the gas station and I am done. I'm done crying. 
I don't have, I don't pity myself. I woke up. I realized who I am. I know my worth. So being that I know who I am now, I'm ready. Like I am so ready for 2020. I'm so ready to start this new journey in life. And I just, again, I want to speak life into everybody that can relate to this video. I feel like you're, um, you know, you don't know which way to go and stuff. For me, this is very like personal and it's, it's a big deal even to declare out to the world. Just, you know, leave it up to God. I never used that before because I was battling with um, religion, spirituality. I didn't know, you know, which one. Because I always be like, well, this one makes more sense and this one doesn't and this one makes more sense and this one doesn't. So you have to just go for whatever's going to help you empower yourself. God had a, he has a very funny sense of humor. And even though at the time I wasn't laughing, I'm kind of, I appreciate um, that he did put me through the things that he put me through because it made me realize that now I see him um, and I do trust him with my, with my heart and soul and everything that I do from now on, it will be under his name. And, um, I just wanted to document the process. This is why, again, I'm like this because this is like me. I haven't been, um, catering to myself. I kind of let myself go and I don't bother to put on makeup and I just I just like oh for what you know like I lost my relationship I'm not trying to impress anybody but at the end of the day I know deep down inside I am a beautiful person and I don't need these things because it shows on the outside and I have this this I would say this boost of confidence again shout out to karma for that and um I know who I am now so I just again I want to take this time to talk to everybody and speak life into everybody because 2020 is our year like you gotta get up you gotta wake up everything that you've been doing if it hasn't been working for you try something different and the one thing that i learned from this whole experience is i was very uncomfortable um and it was very overbearing for me but sometimes in life you have to be uncomfortable to then get comfortable so i'm done being uncomfortable and I know I'm not in control, but there are things that I can control. And being down and out and all that stuff, I have control over. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to speak negative. I'm not going to say I can't do something. I'm not going to say what if and 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 I could have, should have, would have. Like, that's all out the window. A lot of people doubted me. Um, a lot of people talk um, like bad about me saying I could have done something different. I could have prevented certain situations. But at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. And I, I kind of kicked the whole habit of being stubborn and being stuck in my ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, comment down below if you can relate. Um, and I know a lot of people will look at me like, wow, that personally know me, they know my personal issue. They will look at me like, wow, I know it takes a lot for you to even get on the camera to talk about it. And I'm not actually talking about, you know, the situation. I'm just talking about the person that it made me become. And I am very grateful. So with that, I just want to, you know, put the battery on somebody else's back the same way my sister put the battery on my back. And I give her the most up, mo the utmost respect and love because it takes a lot for a person to beat down and still try to speak life into somebody else. I didn't even know how to do that at the time. And that's really usually all I'm about. Like, I consider myself like a Dr. Phil. Like, I'm always there for everybody else. And I'm always, you know, listening and very soundful to people's situations and very mindful, you know. Um, and then I put myself on the back burner and I let it, I let other people live be more important lives be more important than mine. But this is my life and no, I am not in control. So I let Jesus take the wheel right now and everything that you see the glow up and any progress that I make, I give it, I give it to him. Um, you know, and the people that actually supported me and genuinely cared for me in this situation um, I really, really, really want to give a shout out to the people that, th like, it's the littlest things, like a text, good morning, how you doing, um, you know, how you, you know, how's the kids doing, just, and it's, it's crazy to me because it wasn't more so family that was doing it, it was probably like one or two people in my family that did it, but it was like more, sh more so strangers, and it's so crazy to me because they say blood is, um, is thicker than water. But for some reason, the people that I consider friends are the water, but they overstep the people that's in my bloodline. So sometimes, I don't know, that that saying might not be true. I hope you get, you know, understand what I'm trying to say. 
but it was the people that maybe I did something for them. I um, motivated them. I uplifted them. And when I was down and out, they was there to give, to return the favor. And not that, it, you know, the favor needed to be returned, but it just, it made me humble myself. Like, I am a good person, and that shows. So when I didn't have anything, you know, the people that I didn't expect to be there were actually coming out of the woodworks, like... You know, it was overwhelming for me, like, for them to pick me up, like, pick your head up, like, you're always a good person, you're a great mother, you did the best that you can do, you know, um, so, if you could relate again to this, to what I'm saying, I just want to declare that 2020 is better, find confidence in yourself, if you're doing something, and you keep getting the same result, try to do, try to do something different because you know that's called insanity doing the same thing to get the same result and that's exactly what my life has been it's been insane and everything that's been happening is insane but because i've been doing the same thing for years i've been getting the same results a couple things different you know but i'm definitely gonna step out of my comfort zone um and do things different and and be confident and know who i am and i'm and no matter how down the situation maybe i'm gonna continue to uplift people because at the end of the day when i was down and out that is what really picked me up and the little things go a long way a, a, a phone call like a letter or you know a smile sometimes you know reminds you like you know everything is gonna be okay so i'm here to tell you that i am excited for 2020 i am excited for new beginnings like my book is not done that chapter of my life is done but i am turning over a new page i am you know a new person um i believe my belief system is different um my faith it went from like this to this um but sometimes again you got to get uncomfortable to get comfortable um stop trying to be in control all the time i don't know what your religion preference might be but for me, that I'm just saying that that's what worked for me. I was in denial with the whole religion thing because, you know, I have a lot of issues with sometimes, like, how the churches run. And sometimes I think it could be a scam and all that. But for me, honestly, I believe, like, I haven't personally went to church because I believe, you know, the Bible says that we are the temple. So if I, my body, me, if I'm the temple, then I need to get me right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to cut, and which I did. I cut... Um, the bad habits of like what I eat, what I drink, smoke. I like I I don't smoke anymore. Well, I smoke cigarettes because that's still a battle that I'm fighting. But as far as like marijuana and stuff, I like cut that out, and I really didn't need it. It was kind of like just like a like a, a thing to do like when you were your friends and stuff. Like it wasn't even something like oh my god, I gotta get up because I need to smoke. Oh, I need to smoke because you know I woke up and to start my day. Like I, that's kind of what I depend on cigarettes for but it's mind over matter so that's something that i'm battling with i'm not perfect but i'm getting there but i am declaring that 2020 is going to be my year and i am going to be great the best person the best version of nadia that i can be and i'm going to start vlogging more and i'm going to take you guys on this journey and if you guys really um you know you down for me if you want to support me and stuff and go you know on this journey with me again don't forget to like this video subscribe to your friends it might help you know help somebody help somebody help somebody i just want to uplift everybody because if you know better you do better and i know better so i am going to do better and everybody around me everybody that i can touch everybody that can listen to me i just want to encourage you guys um to get up do something different be confident be the best person that you can be and Again, I'm going to, you know, take you guys and try to vlog as much as I could. I That's another thing. I want to dedicate my life and stuff, not to the world, but to YouTube and take you guys on this journey because we are not perfect. As you can see, a girl look crazy, but I am okay and I am happy and I am peaceful and I haven't felt more beautiful. Like, I am great. Like, that's, that's all I need. I just needed a little support. I needed a little reminder. So I'm here to remind you that the storm does end. Tomorrow will prevail. You just got to think confident, speak life into yourself. Stop the negative talks of saying I can't, I won't, I should. I Don't do it. Have faith in something, whatever religion you believe in. You know, like just uplift yourself and try to uplift others. Because for me, for my sister, when she uplifted me, 
I hope and I pray that it helped her realize who she was because she doesn't understand how strong she is for doing that. So I'm going to do the same thing because she did it for me. So if she did it for me, I'm going to do it for you. So again, shout out to Karma. I love you with my soul. And, um, you know, I just hopefully I'm going to try to get in contact with her, like try to, um, you know, get closer to her, visit her and stuff and definitely like get her in on my vlog because she's such a beautiful person. Love her. But again, thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video. I'm going to have a lot of more videos coming up. 2020 is coming. So I didn't want to start the whole new year and starting, you know, the videos from then. I'm starting from right now, from the bottom. And then we're going to work our way up. But before 2020 come, I already realized that. I'm not going to start January 1st. I'm going to start now into the new year. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully I could do the same thing. Don't wait until the first and be like, oh, new year, new me. First of all, you always going to be you. You're just going to be a better version of yourself. So correct that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and on to the next video.